Baker. I'm Pants. And this is the Breeze in the Trees Network. Bringing you the morning breeze. And today, my friend Pants has been educating me about gargoyles. So, he's been letting me know how to become a saint. Oh. And how slaying dragons helps you do so. A long, long time ago, there was this dude. His name was Romanus. He was he was a, a, a priest, a clergyman. Okay. Clergyman, yeah. And so he was pretty noble and adventurous and awesome and all awesomeness. And it's more about killing a dragon than it is about being awesome. So we come into storyline and Lord Gobbledygook. Okay, Gobbledygook. I like that. Lord Gobbledygook. Um, he says, I need you to go kill this monster, Gorgi. Also known as Gargouli. Oh, that sounds a lot like Gargoyle to me. Oh yeah, Gargouli. Gargoyle, these people are French by the way. He said, hey Romanus, you're my buddy. Go kill the dragon for me, maybe, please. Romanus said... And he's a cool guy, so he's just like, yeah, of course I'll kill that dragon, whatevs. But he said, yo, deal. listen, if I'm gonna go kill the dragon, though, I need somebody to carry my, my stuff for me. Oh yeah, because when you're going to slay a dragon, you don't need to carry your stuff. That's so nonsense. in in the heart of of the grace of the benevolent God, he said, "Listen, clergyman, you can grant a pardon to one of these men, one of these condemned men who go with you." Now I'm gonna call him Tonto though, because that's Tonto. basically what he is. Him and Tonto go off to fight the great Gargouli, and there's two different versions of how this goes. One oh, version, wow. um, Romanus pulls out his crucifix. And he's all like, exorcism style, down with the beast! And subdues the dragon, and they tie it up. Okay, I really hope the other version, he has a sword and he kills this dude. The other version, you got Tonto and Romanus, and they're they're in there, Skyrim style, slicing up. That, that's the version I like, that's, that's way like, better. Either way, they, they beat down the dragon or subdue the dragon. I, this I is, think swords compel dragons. Remember, this, these stories were spread around by word of mouth to sure. different churches. And at the time, most people were illiterate and they needed lessons like this. So they'd make stained glass windows of Romanus the Dragon Slayer and be like, be like, oh man! That's <laughs> so bad. Nobody's gonna understand why I'm laughing. <laughs> and they pour, I want to say they pour lighter fluid all over them. Because this is what I picture in my mind. Okay. Like poor lighter fluid or gasoline. Because like that, they, they just randomly have lighter fluid lying around. In yeah, maybe the maybe they were century, maybe yeah. they were fighting yeah. up by like a oil. I think it's, well, I, right, so I'd say they poured oil all over. I'm not gonna okay. be like, oh yeah, they just went to the Snoko and got some lighter fluid and tossed on this dragon. Because it's like, <laughs> what? Okay, happens? so what they did was they they had a Y combination that was final, and they okay. poured it on the dragon, so it would melt the dragon. I like that you like to use big fancy words. I don't even know what you're talking about. Um, pouring oil on a dragon. Why can we say pouring oil okay, on a dragon? Okay, they poured oil on the dragon. Okay. And they lit it on fire. Thank you. That's pretty cool. And actually, what happened? He brought the, the, the dragon, they tried to burn it, but you can't burn dragon head. Yeah, it's just, it's... The dragon throat, dragon head, they spew fire! Come on! It's completely flame resistant. Come on, flame resistant. So, like, they had this, like, charred, kind of, like, giant concrete head dragon. And they brought it home and it said, hey, look, we killed the dragon. Here's its head. Get it. And this they, big they dragon. put it up on the castle wall. Because, like, who doesn't want to be like, oh, you don't want to mess with us. We got a dragon head on our exactly. wall. Exactly. Your army. Exactly. It's like, like we took it. down that dragon. Our buddy Romanus. And they made big statements. No, they don't say our buddy Romanus stuff. They're like, oh, no. Romanus was hanging out at the castle that day. Eventually. And then they'll be like, oh, we can take you. Eventually, though. Okay. Yeah. Um, this Romanus guy gets remembered as a saint. He is Saint Romanus, the Dragon Slayer. Which is awesome, because any saint that gets to be the Dragon Slayer is just, like, instantly cut into this. He puts the dragon head on the castle and say... You know, and because dragons are magic, that dragon head comes back to life at night. And thus begins... The Gargoyle, Gargoyle Mythos. The Gargoyle Mythos, and Gargoyle's the cartoon show. Yes. So, thank you, Saint... Romanus. Romanus. Or Saint Romain, is not there? Romain. Yeah, some people say Romain. Okay. Like the lettuce. Without the ear. Oh. Uh, so thank you, Lettuce, for... Thank you, Saint Lettuce, for your gargoyles. For gargoyles. Okay. Listen, now that we got through all that, 
This is how the gargoyles came to be. This is where they came from. Um, they came from 634. That's when he saved the first Alright, so like way long ago. Yeah. So, bottom line being, gargoyles of Manhattan coming to life and flying around and doing stuff. Right? Bottom line, Disney's television show. Is it Disney? Subscribe. Like us. Hook us up on Patreon. Go pledge monies. Make accounts. This is a terrible segment, by the way. He's out first job. Cupcakes. Because that's what I was going out on until your mom gives us yeah, that. I'm All right, this part.